Hello everyone. Welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. I'm going to show you guys a garden tour of the back garden. The back garden has really transformed in a short period of time. We ended up having rain two days in a row, which is more like a drizzle all day, the whole entire day, morning and night. And it really, really fed the garden. Um, as far as the temperature change, some things had to go. So right here is my elephant ears. I went ahead and chopped them down. You guys, they will come back next year. Um, this is a great spot for them actually because it actually rains and just feeds and water this uh, beautiful elephant ear. And it's massive, you guys, right here. Now, the um, ferns that I had under here, they didn't like it, you guys. Uh, it really shaded them out, um, but they're still alive, so hey it's all right it's still alive so that's all that matters it might come back even stronger next season so we'll see if the ferns will actually uh kind of get in here and grow i'm gonna show you guys the ferns here see the ferns how the little ferns are in here so they're still there so i'm gonna clean this up i went ahead and chopped it down but i do need to take it and put it into the composter and then right here is the chicago hardy fig once we have that cold, it really knocks it back. I'm surprised how much it knocked it back, um, but it'll still survive because this plant is very cold hardy. And then, ooh, what is that? Oh, okay. Okay, so here, you guys, is the lettuce wall. You guys, this lettuce wall is doing so good. When I'm telling you, it does make a difference when it comes down to such a small unit. Um, as you guys can see, this is my hand. So this is these are little small pockets. These aren't that big of a pocket, but look how well all this lettuce is thriving. So you can really, really, guys, feed your family in a small space, okay? I even have one of these, you guys, inside of my grow tent, and it is performing just as well. So I just want to show you guys this. I actually got in here some arugula. I mean, I got about five or six different types of varieties of lettuce in here, especially my butter crunch lettuce, you guys. I love the butter crunch lettuce. It's such a yummy, yummy taste. Y'all got to try it, okay? I'm telling you, you must try it. It's very soft. It's very buttery. This is butter crunch here. And it's just so yummy so but let's go ahead you guys and head on to the back garden so i can show you guys what's going on there all right so down here you guys is my rain barrel and i collect rain from off the roof into this barrel um i did show you guys i put in the weed scraps just fill it with water you guys and you're going to have a great fertilizer that you can use and it's basically just a little tea you can just uh, pour onto your um, plants as it breaks down you want to wait at least i like to wait at least 24 hours to 48 hours before even bothering to use this in the garden because we want those weed seeds to drown okay so let's go this way so as you guys can see the peas is very tall the peas has really taken off they actually starting to you guys put on some flowers and i'm hoping that the cold doesn't knock them back too badly if we get too cold but it is putting on some beautiful flowers how beautiful is that so these are all green potted snow peas back here and then down below there is i have the cauliflower if you guys did not see that video on how I just took care of this bed and all the cauliflower and things like that and what I put it on them and how I cleaned them up. But right here is the purple Sicily cauliflower. This one is gonna be purple and this is the Snowball X. So I said to myself, being extra, um, <laughs> I did every other one, you guys. So it's purple, white, purple, white, purple, white, all the way down. And then you guys, the subscriber sent me the yellow uh, cauliflower you guys I actually germinated them and every single one of them you guys died from that cold snap and I covered them it didn't matter it, it just took them down they were too young they were just too young to handle such a low temp we dropped them down to like 27 degrees um, so it really couldn't take it couldn't take it so it died and then right on the border of all the beds is elephant garlic 
So utilizing all the space that you have in your garden, believe me when I tell you, you can really pack in a lot of plants. You just got to know that the root sizes of your plants and that can determine what you can plant and where you plant it. So like for instance, as you guys can see, I have the garlic, elephant garlic, which is a heavy feeder that is planted right along this whole entire bed and all of this beautiful cauliflower and right behind it is peas. So peas are grown so tall that by the time the cauliflower got to where it needed to go, the snow peas were already high enough to collect all the sun it needs throughout the day. So down here, I got a patch of this right here is, uh oh guys, it's all tangled up. My peas, this one little peas is all up in my cilantro. So this right here is cilantro. Oh, I'm gonna actually harvest some of this actually right now. I just need a little bit. I think I'm gonna make you some, I think I'm gonna make me a little bit of um guacamole. I don't need much, just a little bit for me. I just wanna make a little bit. One, one little avocado for me. My little cilantro, oh, oh, it smells so good. All right, so right here is my miscellaneous. It's, I don't know exactly what these are. Um, I lost the tag and I just popped them in place, but I can tell that this one right here, it definitely looks like it's gonna be a collard. All right, home. so, and I'm, this one's actually heading up, so it might just be a, a cabbage, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see our surprises, cause I got a lot of surprises up front too. All right, so as you guys can see, I have here some pots. I'm gonna fill lots of pots with leaves. I am going to mulch them down so they can break down a little bit quicker. And I'll show you guys that in another video, how I go about mulching those leaves. Now you can do any way that you feel comfortable how you wanna mulch your leaves. I am gonna be mulching them because my husband gifted me something to mulch them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so right here is the Brussels sprouts. So all the back here is the Red Bull Brussels sprouts. I have a Golden Acre cabbage here. Then right here, I have a Savoy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous Savoy cabbage. Um, the Brussels sprouts that I popped in, they're actually trying to do something. They're catching up. Um, they got eaten down and died and I planted, replanted them and they're, they're trying to catch up, okay? So, and then here I have another golden acre, which has two heads on it. So a slug or snail most likely nibbled the heart out of my, or bird actually, might've nibbled the heart out and it started to grow two heads. So uh, this is gonna be a two headed cabbage. And uh, I actually actually enjoyed it. I actually last year had a five-headed cabbage and I have a video on how it looks to have a five-headed cabbage. All right, so down here is all of the broccoli. This is all of my broccoli and it is doing amazing, you guys. I will be cleaning them up as well. I'll be taking up some of the leaves as well. And then down here, I have pink chard. So this is a pink, light pink chard. It's a beautiful color. A pink chart here and then right behind it I have the yellow right here and then as we go this way I have the magenta oh the magenta is gorgeous she's gorgeous okay so here is the magenta uh -oh. so here's the magenta can you guys see that magenta this magenta pink is flawless. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as you guys can see, there's some stuff I need to come out here and do. And as you guys can see, some things are touching the ground. So we definitely want to remove those because we don't want pests. As much as we clean our gardens, we want to avoid as many pests as possible. And that's just going to keep down you having to worry about your plants getting ate up overnight. Okay? So, and as well, over here, I have here is the uh, green Brussels sprouts along the back. Um, all six of these are all Brussels. Then this right here is a cauliflower. This is a purple Sicily cauliflower right here. Then right here is a mammoth red cabbage here. And one here, I think is a mammoth red rock cabbage, okay? But here, you guys, is uh, the back. This is the back garden. 
and is doing amazing. I hope you guys' garden doing amazing. I know for some of you guys it is new, but just keep on going. You got it. I promise you. In due time, your garden is just going to be going crazy. You're going to love it. It's just going to be the newest, bestest hobby you'll ever have. So I love my garden. It's very peaceful for me. I absolutely love it. So, but I did want to come out here and show you what I've been doing out here in the garden. The garden is doing wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I always tell you guys, just stay focused on what you will love, what you enjoy eating, um, what you will feed your family. And uh, some things aren't gonna work out, you guys. Some things is just not gonna work out, but that's all right. It is all right, I promise you. It is all right, in due time in due time you're going to master the art so like i always tell you guys remember there's beauty in everyone's garden please don't and forget bye -bye. to like comment and subscribe to the channel hit that notification so you can be notified when i do upload a video and remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now bye bye you guys